Hey everyone, it's Orange. Welcome back to another guild battle commentary. Today we are fighting Eclipse 1. Guess who's in this guild? Do you see him, guys? Do you see him? Shredded Puzzle himself. What business do I have with that man, you ask? Revenge. Very recently, Shredded Puzzle's guild, Eclipse 1, pulled my guild, and he did a video on it. He hit my tower, gave me some feedback, so it's time for some payback, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a plus one to hit, then I'm gonna look for a plus two and plus three. I usually start with the highest plus one, and if I can't handle what that person's bringing, then I go to the next lowest one. That's kind of the system I've came up with. And generally, I like to go one, two, three, starting lower on the uh, list and then going higher because I'm hoping that I won't lose too many monsters to the lower people on the guild battle screen the lower towers because I'm kind of thinking they might not be as strong as the higher towers. It's definitely not 100% certain, but that's just kind of what I'm going with. You can also check the defense logs to kind of help yourself out because I think winning is the best thing I can do for my guild. So here is the first matchup right here. And on the other team, we have an Orion. He is extremely annoying. My team is really good at sustaining because I have a, a ton of heal and Hua Dam and his passive. So I know Orion's gonna be debuffing my ass off and I'm just hoping I can kill him relatively quickly and once he's eliminated, all the debuffs will drop off of me and things will get a lot easier. So we gotta kill this rat first, the water ball rat. That's my nickname for Orion. I'm gonna be debuffing the Perna and the Monkey King with my Hua Dam. That's the beauty of Hua Dam. This monster is so strong. All my new Guild Wars compositions that I built on Free Rune Removal a couple days ago have been working out really well. This is actually one of my Guild War defenses along with the next team that we'll see in round two. So the monkey's doing his thing, you know, he's wind so he's going to be focusing Theomars, but I have so many heals and Hua Dam there to save myself. Okay, so and even if the unrecoverable debuff from Orion gets put on gets put on Theomars, Shasun heals through that and then Hua Dam's health will still will still get transferred through that. So I'm gonna keep going for Orion and I really just need to get rid of him. Gonna get some glancings and attack debuffs on the enemies. Wait, did I mention how Hua Dam is really nice because he's a light element, which means he has he doesn't he's not elementally weak to anything. So he's going to have a great time applying those debuffs to the enemies. He has a really high chance to apply those. Even though he has, I think he has kind of low accuracy. I'm not sure what it is, but the enemy should have low resist too. So in these guild wars that I've been having ever since I joined my new guild, So Fucking Epic, we fight some really tough guilds. Eclipse 1 is one of them, and there's tons of others, so I've kind of noticed that I have been making some mistakes, and I really need to focus on using the correct skills at every point in time. And I may have made some mistakes here with debuffing incorrect enemies. I think this one went okay, but I'll try to pay attention here and point out my mistakes. Orion is very new to me because I just got him recently and I built him three days ago, four days ago, so I haven't had much practice and I'm getting used to it. I think I make a pretty big mistake, or actually maybe not in this one, but I think Orion actually gains more turns even if he glances his on his first skill if you start rolling. So that's interesting, and I'm having a difficult time determining whether I should defense break with Orion or just keep rolling, and I think most of the time you want to keep rolling, but in very uh, specific situations you want a defense break. So here... Against this team, my game plan with Orion, I think Orion's whole strategy is basically keep debuffing the enemies, roll as much as possible, get more turns, and put as many debuffs on them as possible. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do here because I, don't, I see the other team and they don't have any sort of buff removal. 
So my whole strategy basically revolves around Orion. I've been noticing that Orion is super good on Guild Wars defense. I got my butt kicked by a ton of them, so I think this team works out really well. I have a lot of damage from Ratesh especially, and Veligil will bring some damage too, and then Orion is just the control freak. So the enemy team has so many debuffs, and I kind of split my focus a little bit here. I'm looking at the attack bars. The Ratesh is going to die to that dot, I hope. I hope it's going to be enough. It was so I'm not going to even attack him and I'm going to get some damage on the Leica there. So on this fight I kind of split up my focus a little bit and I think that was okay but I need to get better at identifying what the proper play is every time I have a turn what skill do I use and this kind of is reminiscent of TOA normal and TOA hard especially when my rune quality wasn't too good for certain floors I would kind of sit there and pause and be like okay well, what do I do now generally you don't have to think too many steps ahead you just have to think like what's the best play right now sometimes you might have to think a little bit ahead knowing what your cooldowns are going to be in a turn or two but it's kind of simple, so I really need to, you know, calm down. Well, not calm down, but I need to focus on these fights and make sure I'm using the correct skills. And of course, I still need a bit of bit more practice with Orion to really understand how he works. So these two teams that I have set up right now are really good because I have damage on both of them. And I am looking at expanding my damage dealers slowly but surely, you know, I'll incorporate more things. I think single copper and single bulldozer are really strong, but I don't quite have enough supports to to pull in or put on teams with them to make it work. And I'll talk more about that later. I have a guild battle versus casuals. I will link it down below. It, if I do a commentary, I haven't done it yet, but um, check the description. And I did use single copper, which worked out really well. Okay, so we have this team here and the I'm kind of determining which is the biggest threat over there. Is it Ganymede or is it Orion? And Ganymede, I'm going to have a pretty easy time killing because my two damage dealers are fire and wind. But if I go for Orion, my fire damage dealer or, you know, fire support with a little bit of damage is going to have some issues. So those two are the ones I'm really worried about just because they can really mess up the match if Orion strips something and Ganymede resets it. So at the beginning of the match, something kind of interesting happened. You guys might not, might not think it's interesting and it might be obvious to some of you, but Ganymede actually reset Orion because I guess he's water element and that's why he did that. So that was really nice because I was quite afraid that Ganymede would reset Velajul. That'd be the worst because then I don't have immunity and Orion's debuffing me, but he reset the Orion and even if he resets my Ritesh, then I'm out a healer. I don't have my heal up. Hopefully I'd violent proc and get some speed buffs up because every time you crit on your first skill on Ritesh, you get a speed buff. So I killed Ganymede pretty quickly, and maybe it was because he was a really fast Ganymede, and you know, I have good elements to go against him. So I eliminated Ganymede, and then the next threat to me is Orion, just because he does all of his foolish stuff. And then Perna's last. I'm tanking Perna out really well. Orion has the defense leader for my team, and my two other monsters, Veladryl and Ritesh, are extreme tanks. So I brought a really nice team for that fight. Here is the second round. To be honest with you guys, I don't know what the Light Magic Knight does or the Dark uh, Lich thing. I guess the Liches all kind of have a lot of debuffs. And then Veladryl, I kind of wasn't too afraid about this team. It doesn't look like they have too much threat, but maybe I could be wrong if the Lich has defense breaks, which a lot of the Liches do, I think, on their second skill. Maybe that's just Rigel. So I'm getting debuffed a lot. But my team, again, is like super good at sustaining, so as long as I maybe can get some procs, and on the other team, I don't see too many heals. That's the biggest thing I think that I noticed, that I just remembered, but I don't see a healer. So I really don't know what the Light Magic Knight does, like I said, but she's cranking out some heals. I need to look up these monsters, the Dark Lich and the Light Magic Knight, to see exactly what they do. Um, I've seen some in Arena. I've seen the Dark Lich and the Light Magic Knight. Uh, and you guys know I'm, I've been finishing Guardian 1 for the past couple weeks, so I fight in the High Conqueror 3 low Guardian 1 range, and they've never given me issues in Arena because I just double Lucian and kill everything, so they never get a chance to move. They're not tanky enough to. So I know that much about them, that they're not 
too tanky that two of my Lucians can kill them. My Lucians aren't doing too much damage right now. They're doing 46,000, maybe 47,000 combined. So I usually just cleave through all of them, but these monsters are really shining in Guild Wars. Yesterday, I think, I forgot who we fought, but the Light Magic Knight silenced me and she was, oh yeah, I brought Ramagos against her and she removed my Ramagos's immunity buff. And then I think I got defense broken. Either I got defense broken then died or I got stunned or something. So that was crazy to see. But, you know, my team, they didn't have too many heals. I was getting really annoyed at the immunity buff on the other team. I couldn't stick my defense break. I don't think the Light Magic Knight has a debuff removal. Like, she can't remove harmful effects on her team. So I decided to start focusing Veljul down there just to get that immunity buff out of the way. And then once that happened, my damage increased drastically and it was pretty easy to kill the other two monsters. So here we go. This is the battle against Shredded Puzzle. So, in general, I've kind of... I've seen a lot of Guild Wars defenses that have Orion on one team, and I know how powerful he is because there's not many immunity monsters out there. I'm really hesitant to bring Orion versus the Rakan because ever since I've started using my Orion, I do believe he prioritizes removing buffs off of whatever has buffs. So... When I fight Orions, before I had mine, when I fought them, they would almost always remove the immunity buff off my Veladrol, but I didn't fight too many, so I wasn't sure, but since I've used mine a fair bit since I built him, I've noticed that he does go for that, so I think it's going to be bad news if I bring him against Rakan, because Rakan gets two buffs, you know, he gets the immunity and the attack thing, so Orion might fail to remove immunity, or he might remove the other one, and then after that, Orion's going to put his debuffs on the enemy team, right? Well, what if he puts those debuffs on Rakan, who has immunity? I just didn't think it was a good idea, so I didn't bring him to this fight, and I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate Bernard first just because of the insane amount of attack power he gives the other team and the speed buff. I don't want to give that other team too many turns or to let them have that insane boost, so I kill Bernard. Bernards are also squishy because people build them so fast, and when you go for really fast runes and that fast speed, it's hard to get a lot of other stats on him, so he died pretty quickly. I did land the defense break on him. And the silence on the light magic knight, I saw that thing happening, so I don't know what that thing exactly does. I believe it prevents you from using skills with cool times because my Chisun was not allowed to use her third or second skill. So Hua Dam's passive, I don't think the silence applies to that though, but I do think it would apply to Theomars. I really need to look up all these specifics because I really don't know. But Twadam's passive doesn't run on a cooldown, so I don't think that will affect it, but Theomars' passive does have a cooldown. So if you pop Theomars, it's like nine turns or something, or I don't even know what it is, until his passive comes back up. So that kind of scared me because I'm like, what if she debuffs Wadam and what if I'm not transferring my health and they kill something? But I don't quite know the specifics. So once I got rid of Bernard, it's a 3v2. And it's pretty safe on my side. I just killed her slowly, got the defense break on her, and then now we're just finishing up Rakan here. My team is so OP. Like, I put my best runes on all this stuff, and then I'm just realizing that this stuff is actually really strong, so I'm going to keep using it as long as it keeps working. And of course, um, I'm looking at building some more options for Guild Wars. There's so many monsters in my mind. The Raccoonie, the Fireharg, uh, Delphoi... Um, maybe even Kona and Kali and Shren. There's like so many. I won't give you guys the whole list. So this is, I think, where I should have rolled. And we can see the fire mo or the wind monkey is focusing Orion. I really like this matchup in general, that team versus my team. So I'm going to be going for Theomars first because he's going to be the squishiest. And Shisun, I don't think I would do much more damage to because I'd be able to use Veligil to hit her. And Orion unfortunately dies. My whole thought process behind my team is basically get as many debuffs on them as possible, let Orion do his thing, just keep rolling, keep debuffing. But I did go for a defense break there, so I think maybe I made a slight mistake and I could have done things better. And I do need to figure out if... I'm pretty sure Orion gets another turn even if he glances when he's rolling with his first skill. 
because uh, that happened to me. I hit a fire monster and I still gained another turn. So at this point, it's, I guess, a battle of attrition, is that what you call it? Where they're just they're just going to whittle me down and I cannot sustain and they'll out-sustain me. So I lost that round, but overall it was a really good battle in general. I enjoyed fighting Eclipse. So the Orion one, um, I kind of thought about that fight a bit more, the Monkey King, Theomars, Chasun. And I think there's I could have done some things differently, like... I don't even know if Copper can kill Chasoons if they have defense. I don't think so, because I looked at my own Chasoons defense and I think it's 1400 or so, and I think that's definitely enough to not be coppered. So there's a lot I still need to figure out, and the strategy I went with I think was okay, just Orion them, but maybe my runes weren't quite there or something, but I'll definitely have to figure that out, and I'm learning, you know, I'm doing all these battles and learning new things from each of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary for Eclipse 1 and the fight. I really enjoyed it. I'm getting so into guild battles and my stuff is super OP. Velajul, Ritesh, Orion, Chisun, Hwadam, Theomars. It's crazy. So yeah, um, I guess that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned to the, for the path to decency of Guild Wars because that is what I'm currently undergoing. And glory to so fucking epic. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will catch you guys later.